My name is John, I'm a process engineer for GlaxoSmithKline based in London. GlaxoSmithKline uh, develops new drugs and manufactures them. The drugs that we develop here are for cancer, AIDS, malaria, diabetes, epilepsy, a whole range. Uh, GlaxoSmithKline roughly employ about 100,000 people worldwide. They're based in pretty much every continent. Uh, there's sites from South America to Australia, all over the world. I'm a process engineer, so my main role in the company is to take the drugs developed with research and development and to put them into a larger scale. So it involves designing the equipment, testing the equipment, and then operating the machinery once it's up and running. Um, there's a lot of hands-on work, and that's one of the reasons why I went into engineering, is uh, you can have some work in the lab developing. That usually comes after you put the drug into practice. You tend to um, interact with a, a large range of people, the operators to find out how they're going to use the equipment, uh, the chemists to find out what the reactions are, uh, how they're going to impact your design. Uh, you can go up to site director and director level. Working for GSK does give you the opportunity to travel. Engineers, uh, I mean myself, I'm from Australia and I took the opportunity to come over here, but engineers are in a great demand all over the world, so like South America, Canada, Australia even. We usually get in about 8 o'clock and finish about, about 5. When you're doing commissioning and testing equipment, then sometimes it might be a little bit later, but no later than say 6 or 7 o'clock usually. Uh, GlaxoSmithKline, uh, we get 26 days holiday, and that increases as you've done like long service leave. Uh, pension, there's a pension on offer where we can contribute and GSK will can contribute for you as well. And there's also share bonus rewards and a bonus every March as well. During high school I did obviously physics and maths, also I did chemistry obviously as well. I studied a Bachelor of Engineering at the University of Queensland. I had a year's working in a zinc refinery in um, North Queensland and went back and did a Master of Philosophy. Now that uh, probably won't give you any extra pay or anything like that, but it's just, uh, it's just an experience that I wanted, wanted to have. Um, upon finishing your degree, you would expect a salary in the range of about £24,000. That's the average uh, for a graduate. So I always enjoyed chemistry and I guess that sort of put me down to the careers of either a chemist or a chemical engineer and I guess with the chemists you sort of visualise them being in the lab most of the time whereas an engineer is more hands-on which is what I wanted. In order to do my job you need a good problem-solving ability which is fostered during your engineering degree and also I think you need to be able to relate to all people in all areas of the company so talking to operators, talking to potentially site director or directors so you need to be able to um, talk to a wide range of people. You get a great deal of satisfaction working as an engineer. It's seeing um, the drug at a basic level in research and development and seeing it fulfilled all the way to production and out to the marketplace. Tips for getting into the industry, I would recommend students talk to some process engineers. So get in touch with HR or human resources at any major uh, chemical company or pharmaceutical company and they'll put you through to an engineer who will be only too happy to talk to you. Right, it's been my ambition to go into management eventually. I want some engi uh, engineering experience and then I'd like to go into production management or uh, project management. The science and engineering industry is a fantastic place to work because you get a lot of a, uh, varied experience. You get to work with different people every day from operators to other engineers to people at research and development. So you're always doing something different and also you get a great deal of responsibility straight away as well.